Hi, it's Sean McCann from Stan James. Welcome to a preview of the open meeting from Cheltenham, which begins on Friday. Begins with a Grade Two novice hurdle. Any given day, I'm a big fan of it. But if these rains arrive, I think Donald McCain's horse is probably likely to get turned over. It has one on soft ground, but that was on the flat. Interesting one. If he comes over, Shinrock Paddy, dual bumper winner, one of a point to point beaten senseless by Dungui, being the champion bumper last year. But he made a satisfactory winning debut over hurdles. And the second race, Pasco, is the one for me. I think uh, he, he may well have beaten. And Duke Dorenier at Kempton last time that was probably on ground too fast over maybe a trip too far two and a half miles Duke Dorenier staying on but I think oh two miles soft ground I think that might be one for Nichols and Walsh the cross country end of Bulger's won it four of the last five years got a massive uh, strong again with heads on the ground with uh, Garchi on Petra with Lamy but the one I'm interested in is Anne Searock this is not owned by uh, JP McManus do look out for the web if he comes over for the for the cross country great but if he stays in Ireland as well Anne Searock very impressed with that Hunter Chase at um, Punchestown, I think, early on in the season, back in February, as it turned out. Alfie Shannon, as well, in the 405, makes his chase debut, dutiful, make his chase debut, ran really well in the Silver Trophy at Chepstow over the smaller obstacles, built like a chase, and be fascinating if China Rock Ashkazar or, or Knockout are both taking him on. But Alfie Shannon, 25 to 1 with Stan James at present for both the Arco and the RSA chase. On the second uh, second day, we've got this three and a half mile, very nearly three and a half mile handicap chase. One I'm interested in is Russian Trigger from the Dartnell Yard. One that's slight reservation, it is a big reservation, is does he jump fence as well? If he certainly has got an engine, a lot of people touting him as a potential Grand National winner for 2000. And ten has, ha has already been back, but he's got to, I think, jump round and he's got to win a lot of these horses. I think are exposed and probably also past the sell by bank. Into the big one, it's fascinating race. I must say the betting as we stand at the moment: Shepard Turgeon, six to one. It's seven to one then for Pocalan Tarantino and for Tranquil C, eight to one bar. Uh, po uh, Shepard Turgeon, six to one favourite. Ruby, sorry, Timmy Murphy will take the ride, of course, for Paul Nichols, owned by David Johnson, won the Juice and Novices Handicap Chase at the festival, but he's eighteen pound up and he probably disappointed pointed subsequently fall at the first and entry of course Pocalan can't have it only because I, I think it was a weak race he won 11 pound up from that and I think if the uh, rains arrive that their forecast 25 mil so Simon Clare said earlier in the week I think that will scupper his chances Tarantino similarly can't have them until the day of the race until you see the state of the ground Tarantino wouldn't surprise me if that's a big drifter as well Triumph and see I always thought she, uh, he needed it um, to, to go right-handed but was impressive enough last time in Ireland didn't think it was much of a race and I'd want to take him on as well the ones I'd be interested in Bally Fitz I think if it becomes a real slog if the ground becomes soft stroke heavy remember Twiston Davis won the race last year around about 12 to 1 Bible Lord must also have a chance although his best form is arguably on good ground but ran well in a Hennessy a couple of years ago behind Denman probably until his stamina gave out but the one I'm also keen on is according to P 25 to 1 with StanJames.com and I think Malcolm Jefferson gave this a run on the flat a couple of weeks ago too and, and I think according to Pete 25 to 1 represents a bit of value over to Sunday and interesting within five minutes Titanio and also Sizing Europe. Titanio at uh, Cheltenham and uh, Sizing Europe in Ireland. They met uh, uh, two of the uh, top three in the market for the Arkell Chase. It'll be fascinating to see who's the most impressive. I think they'll both win. Sizing Europe, massive fan already on for the Arkell. But Titanio and Mark Win Stanley, the, uh, aka the Couch, is insistent this horse is a machine and will pick up and carry Sizing Europe. It's fair to say I disagree. Dual champion chase and masterminded next up in 145. Got to give tw 10 pounds to Well Chief. That will be a fascinating race. Remember all this live on RUK and also Channel 4 Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Great Wood Hurdle, a very, very difficult race to call. Interesting, just no surprise to me, the Cockney Trucker is back over hurdles and do also look out for Isaquire. Again, another Malcolm Jefferson horse. I think she will appreciate the soft ground, although uh, obviously a lot of people would suggest she's handicapped up to the hilt now. In the 3.30, I think Reeve de Savola will take all the beating in the Grade 2 a hurdle over two and a half miles and lead off. If lead off takes his chance he again would be one of the bankers in the meeting for Alan King Alan King just had a winner at Bangor his horses seem to be on a roll I know they think the world of this horse and he will be going over hurdles uh, sooner rather than later but Lidar in the bump which closes the meeting but it really is good we're really looking forward to three days of wonderful horse racing action interestingly Shepard Turgeon six to one favorite for the Paddy Power I fancy a couple of outsiders be lucky